Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Now that we have the part that we need to go save the people at the prison, let's go do that. So let's go super fast. Hopefully we can get by the robots without encountering any combat scenarios. Should probably stop for some water on the way over. Okay, where is the prison? It is down. This is Citadel Base calling Ranger Team Echo. Please respond. Mm, go ahead. 10-4 Echo 1, good to hear your voice. Now listen, a situation occurred while you were off the air. The Red Scorpion Militia has gotten a bee in their bonnet about something, and they've been sending squads into our territory to harass our people and sabotage our works. Danforth is calling it retribution for ranger atrocities, but I got no idea what he's talking about. Whatever it is, it's got to stop. Copy? Copy. 10-4. Unfortunately, all other teams are currently out trying to chase down these damn hit squads, so you're on your own. I need you to get to the prison and see what the hell is up Danforth's ass. And if you can get him to calm down or make peace, then do what you have to do. Disrupt his operations, destroy his base, kill him, capture him. I don't care what it is. Just get the little pest off our backs. We're not going to be able to send you to L.A. unless this mess is dealt with. You read me? Copy. I'll crawl up Danforth's ass myself and personally see what's in there. 10-4, Echo-1. And get moving. Citadel base out. The Red Scorpion Militia has turned a blind eye to the Desert Rangers' constant infringement of its borders. We have put up with their assaults on our citizens and our soldiers. We have ignored their attempts to turn the towns we protect against us. But this latest act is too vile. It cannot be forgotten. It cannot be forgiven. The Desert Rangers are killing our dogs. They've infected our loyal hounds, our best friends, our constant companions, with a plague that is killing them in the most cruel, barbaric fashion possible. Their paws bleed, their mouths froth, their eyes weak pus. They stop eating, they stop moving, and then they die. Vargas, do you hear me? You've gone too far this time. This isn't just one dog. This is a hundred, and it isn't a little boy whose best friend you've killed. It's your worst enemy. I'm coming for you, Vargas. I'm going to kick down your walls and cut your throat. I was always coming, Vargas, but I was biding my time, building my militia getting it ready for the day when we would take over all of Arizona and leave the Desert Rangers bleeding in the dust where they belong. Well, you forced my hand, Vargas. The day you let your plague loose among my dogs was the first day of the rest of your short, short life. You will die for this, Vargas. I'll have your head on a stake. Something tells me negotiations are not going to go smoothly. Yep, they are waiting for us. Alright, let's get our people spread out. Um, good enough, whatever. Shoot. Logbook updated. With what? Wait, what just updated? Was it was it this? We've made a lot of progress since we last visited the prison. Maybe we can find a way in now. Yeah, I know. Is it this? Change of plans? Huh. 
I mean, it wasn't because I decided to kill them outright, right? I mean, their names were already read. It didn't seem like they were going to talk. Eh, whatever. How much armor do they have? Four? Okay, so it actually would be worth using an energy weapon on these big guys. Ah, oh, I should have had her crouch. <laughs> Just out of range of the lobber. No! Uh. Yeah, I didn't position my people very well. Uh, we got plenty of turns. I don't need to uh, burst anybody. Oh god, I made him melt. I'm sorry. What if the people... do you think the people are still down here? I don't really have a reason to go talk to them, I guess. But I know there are a couple people down there. Alright, um... I need to get here... Right, there are multiple pathways. Let's go this way. I know I opened up a side entrance to the prison. Might be better to go that way. Oh, shit. They don't have new people for their... little rape camp. No, they don't. That's good, at least. Well, gonna have to kill people no matter which way I go. I guess I should funnel them through the little opening. So I should probably just snipe them. You know, I feel like this guy had a chance to take cover behind this wall. He just didn't take it, though. Just welcome any people who come through this little opening. Ah, oh, almost got him in one hit. So close.
Okay, low armor, so let's go with the shotgun. Let's set up shop a little bit inside. And ambush. Come on through. Laying out the red carpet for you. If they want to keep taking their sweet time, then I'm going to keep sniping them. And how in the hell do I have a shot on this guy? Wait, what? How the hell? He's not that tall. Okay. Wasn't quite... This isn't quite as tactically sound a position as I thought. <laughs> what do I even do with this guy? Just stay there. Well, that guy's just gonna keep shooting from there, so I guess I should move in. Wait, I thought I had enough AP. What the hell? See if we can scare this guy out of cover. In the meantime, I'll just keep plinking off people's heads. Your aim is atrocious, my god, dude. Maybe I can shoot this guy from here. Yes. I don't know why I headshot it. There's no point. He only had like 20-something hit points. Alright, this guy's gonna freak out because he's flanked on both sides. What are you gonna do, huh? Huh? I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna move. And you know what's gonna happen when he moves? Nothing, because I can't amp- oh, so I feel like something's wrong. I feel like it's telling me I can move a certain amount and still shoot, and then I'm not able to. I'm gonna check that out next turn I take. I thought I was in the green there. Or the, the blue, I mean. Okay, so this is in the blue. I should still be able to attack. Okay. He is so dead. I think I was unable to open this before. Oh, is it? Oh, it's trapped. Mm. 
monocle. It's a big reduction to combat initiative. That doesn't seem very good. All for a little bit of range. I mean, if you have a character that is probably only going to shoot once per each battle, then I guess the combat initiative is not too important. But for a sustained fight, that combat initi initiative is going to bite you in the ass. It's another water truck, I think. Is that a water truck? I think it is. The brand name on the side of this bulldozer reads Tonka. Alright, let's go in the back door. Hopefully they haven't replenished their soldiers inside of this little cave area. Ah, I remember this place. Remember throwing that grenade or dynamite, whatever it was? Yeah. Good times. Yep, looks like they haven't thought to re-guard this place. Good for me. They haven't regarded this place either. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's faster to just go around. The people at the farms are probably not going to be friendly if they see me again, so let's try to avoid them. Let's just test that, actually. I want to get a little bit closer. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they're red. Alright, so they're all going to shoot on sight. Alright, avoided them. I could try talking with him again. Yeah, why not? So, the dog killers have returned. Mm-hmm. Cross the line of stones, rangers. I'm begging you. Come forward and die like the dogs you killed. I could try to convince him that we didn't release the plague, but... It's pretty unlikely he's gonna give a shit. I'm sure he wouldn't believe us. Yeah, I mean, what what plague for the dogs is he talking about? Is he talking about the one from the, uh... The, uh... I keep forgetting the name of the damn place. The planty place? The place I didn't go near the beginning of the game? Where you go to either Hypel or the planty place? I seriously don't remember the name of it. Is he talking about that sickness? Uh, we'll find a cure for your dogs? Will we? Where? We'll see. I mean, where would I even start? Find the cure yet, dog killers? What about killers? In the mood to taunt you right now? Okay. We're still looking for it. Doing a pretty shitty job of it, too. Thanks. How would I find the cure? I don't even know what the problem is. The dogs are going crazy. I, <laughs> I have no idea. 
what can I try? Um, well, for now, let's just try fixing this thing. Alright, where's that tread part? Wait a minute, what did that say? There's some other stuff there. Oh, add to hotkey. Alright, the robot is ready to roll. But I'm pretty sure I would only want to do that if I want to enter without negotiating, because I don't think he's going to want to negotiate if I force my way in. Where would I even start to look for the cure? I've already been over, like, the entire map. I mean, at least, you know, the, the map of this area. There are other maps when you eventually get to go to California. I think you get to go to L.A. or something. Or maybe you get to go to L.A. inside of California. I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. But there's other maps, but as far as this map goes, it looks like I've explored pretty much everything. I have no idea where I could possibly go for the cure, because I don't even know exactly what the problem is. Have I ever met a veterinarian? I mean, maybe the doctor back at the Temple of Titan could have solved the problem, but she's dead. Or ran away or something. What if I go back to the... Citadel. Could they help me? Could the doctor help me in some way? Nah, fuck it. Please select desired target type. Organic. Inorganic. Um, inorganic. Commencing combat sequence. You are a beautiful piece of machinery, inflicting 5,000 points of damage. Was there a nuclear bomb inside of that damn thing? My god. Freaking thing's stronger than Titan. You wanna converse now? No? You don't wanna talk? Aw, oh, what a shame. Is there anything around here? Maybe he'll be more willing to talk now that he doesn't have his big, his big guns to protect him, to compensate for his tiny, tiny, minuscule ego. Well, they're not red. So, oh, okay. Bodyguard. I guess Danforth must be nearby. That's probably his bodyguards. And I heard a sick dog. Yeah. I hope I can help the dogs. I mean, I don't want them to die. Even if they are owned by the freaking red scorpions. Okay, who am I shooting? Gunner has a high advantage. I should probably shoot them. Bodyguard, bodyguard. Let's go for the gunner. Go run into combat like an idiot. Class type you? Oh, you're not a class type, you're an actual named person. You don't have a lot of hit points, though. Looks like he's got dynamite in his hand.
I move in before crouching? Uh, yeah, let's move in a little bit. Those dogs sound so sad. Is that worth it? Eh. Oh shit, there's Commander Danforth. I guess we're not going to be negotiating. Oh, you're not going to make me shoot your dog, are you? So they're getting reinforcements from inside. Looks like they're coming up a ramp of some sort. Yeah, there's a lot of them, jeez. We're gonna be here for a while. Alright, let's just get some cover. Nice, dude. You sure showed that sandbag. Five damage to one person. You amuse me. All right, start punching some fools, I guess. He's gonna take. Oh my god! You know what? He's gonna take so much damage if he does that. Just, just stay there. An ambush, I guess. Hmm, I didn't exactly want to eat up her ammo. Because I was planning on going forwards and blasting these dudes. Um, I could use my energy weapon, though. If I can hit this guy, can I hit him? No, he's out of range. And everyone else has too low armor. Well, I guess, it, yeah, I could just shoot him. Ow. Oh, 
are so clustered. Do you have a grenade? Yes, I need to use a grenade because I can kill all three of them. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But the dog! No, the dog's right there in the center. I'm not going to throw a grenade. Oh, great. That unloaded the weapon. Wonderful. It didn't really matter, though. Maybe the rest of the people will fuck off if I kill Danforth. Like, to lose faith because their leader is dead or something. Or maybe not. So many guys that are almost dead. Let's move a little bit closer. Oh my god. They're so bad. I'm bad too. And what happened, uh, what updated? Commander Danforth's dead, the Red Scorpions will fall apart in no time. Problem solved. Yeah, I guess, but got some other problems. Like, there's obviously people in here. Uh, definitely dogs in here that need help, but probably people too. Our job is not done. I don't think I want to burst fire you, because the doggy's right there. It's right there. Reyna. Alright, let's just pick off some people. Oh, come on. You are very low on health, so go hide. There's more. Is this likely to kill him? Um, no. I should double burst it. Uh, let's move here. Yeah, then now that gives our line of sight on that dude. And a better chance to hit. Did I just shoot the dog? Oh fuck! God damn it, Pazepi! I was specifically trying to avoid shooting the dog. I guess that was that. That's what happens with burst fire. See, the Rangers are here to help. Always making things better. You're welcome, citizens. Need to shake some hands. People love me. Too far away from the action, they need to move closer. We really need to get some AoE going on here.
see if I can set ourselves up for that next turn. I'm just going to be a little bit wasteful with ammo, because there's a lot of enemies. I need them to die. Four armor, four armor. Is this likely to kill him? No. It'll do a lot of damage, though. I don't want to get out of cover to go shoot these dudes, so yeah, let's just kill, try to kill him. What? Oh. I only had one round in the mag. <laughs> uh. All right, fuck him. All right, this guy's going next, so I want to kill him. Oh, right, not enough AP anymore. Okay, can we finally get some shotgun action going? I think we can, and I think we can kill two people. Kill two man birds with one, with one shotgun stone. Or not because the angle is not quite wide enough. Well, fuck. I think we got most of them at this point. Uh. Who the hell are you? Svargus Snake. Interesting. He appears to be mostly naked. Was he like a potential recruitable or something? And what's with your name? Svargus. It's very similar to Vargas. Six to nine. I kind of just need to end those dudes up there. TNT won't do it. I need a full-on grenade. Can't quite... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no. Can't quite reach. How much AP does it take, though? I can move one. Is that enough? Nope. Alright, these people come around the corner, they're gonna get a face full of shotgun. The sight is still blocked on that guy? Damn. I 
I missed both? I got him. Right, that guy's gonna start taking shots at us. We need to kill this damn guy. There we go. You are not going to like where you just moved to. Let's give Pazepi this one. A pile of dead bodies and a dead dog. Now that's what I call helping the wasteland. And this should be in our recruitment video for the rangers. Like, <laughs> the camera would pan across a scene of just like this desert scene with all these bodies on the ground. Just utter stillness and just the sound of the wind. And what the hell? Did something just come after me? What the fuck? Hi. Anyway, like I was saying, the camera would just pan across this desert scene, utterly still, and just the sound of the wind blowing, and all these bodies lying in pools of blood on the ground. The camera would just pan across these bodies slowly. And they would keep panning, and then there'd be a ranger just staring at the camera. And it'd focus in on their face. And they'd give a big smile and a thumbs up. And then, join the rangers now. Everybody would join. Yeah, sock him one. Now run away. Hope I reloaded everybody, did I? I didn't. Nah, I should be fine. These guys are puny. Actually, now would be a good time for a grenade. Nah, whatever. <laughs> There's two hit points left. Theodore is just about to die, I think. Five hit points. Well, he's dead. He just killed one of his own people. <laughs> he just blew up this guy. What the hell, man? You suck. Alright, Theodore's about to die, so I'm gonna have Yulia hopefully tank some shots. I'm just gonna have her run in. Oh my god, there's like unlimited enemies. Jesus. Is he likely to die with four shots? Average damage of about... Fifth no, it's gonna fully penetrate armor, so average damage of about... 16, 17? No. the dudes with the dynamite, which is, well, m most of them. Who 
Who's going next? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> nice one, man. Thank you. You sure you know what side you're fighting for? Sorry, dog. I think there's a bunch more coming, so I think we need to move our people up here. Let's have her get here. Yeah, we need to reload. Unfortunately, I can't. Let's ambush for now. Yeah. <laughs> Still out of range. I don't think he can shoot us from there. So I'm just gonna ambush. Hmm, you do need to reload. Just move a little bit out of the way there. There's more coming somewhere. Let's reload. You already reloaded. Let's get you to ambush. Out of oh shit, you're out of ammo. Uh Um I guess we have been shooting a lot, huh? Oh wait a minute, I didn't distribute the sniper ammo. Well, that'll solve that. Fifty shots. She's out of ammo. I don't think I have any more of that. Here comes George Foreman. What's his armor? Four? I could actually use my energy weapon, which I think has a much larger range than this, right? Yes, but that needs to be reloaded. Let's put her off to the side for now. Probably just gonna snipe this dude. Yeah. 
Come on. There's still more? Never gonna stop coming. This, this is like a 20. This is like a 30 minute fight. This actually might literally be like a 30 minute fight. I'm not actually sure. I'm starting to see a pattern. Shoot, shoot, no. Okay. Are we finally done? I am going to be so overloaded with loot, it's not even funny. Forth. He has a spent IV on him. That's weird. I wonder if he had medical issues. And barely anybody can move. It's like right now in her own little world, Yulia is in like a wind tunnel. She's just running against the wind and she's she's winning just a little bit. She can overcome it just slightly. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end this episode here before some other random group of people comes by and decides to extend this fight to uh, another half hour. I intended this episode to be like... 40 minutes or so, and it ended up almost an hour. Can't say this is the resolution I wanted for the whole Danforth situation. But, uh, I guess it does solve it. I don't... Could I have... I mean, maybe I could have just talked him out of it if I cured the, the problem with the dogs, but I, have, I had no idea how to do that. I mean, you wanted me to just go into the desert and find a cure and then come back. Find a cure for some unknown disease in a, in a world that I've already pretty much fully explored? Didn't seem likely. Anyway. Well, we'll see what the fallout is, I guess. <laughs> fallout. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.